Good evening and welcome to the Evening of Excellence Ceremony presented by Gaston County Schools and sponsored by Wells Fargo Bank. I am Todd Higgins from the Gaston County Schools Communications Department and I appreciate the opportunity to host tonight's program which honors our outstanding educators. Tonight we will present the most prestigious awards given by Gaston County Schools when we announce our teacher, principal, assistant principal, and central office administrator of the year for 2017-2018. To begin tonight's program, Mr. Anthony Ballard from Wells Fargo will offer our official welcome, followed by remarks from Mr. Kevin Collier, our chairman of the Gaston County Board of Education, and our superintendent of schools, Mr. W. Jeffrey Booker. Mr. Bauer. Well, hello everyone. Can you hear me okay out there? All right. Well, good evening and thank you so much for, I'm Anthony Ballard uh, as mentioned, and uh, thank you so much for allowing us to host this event tonight. It's an honor to be here uh, and to speak on behalf of Wells Fargo and the bank. I wanted to thank a couple people first um, for putting this event together. Uh, Pamela Gaff, she's not here tonight. She's with her daughter for an event, um, but also Beth Suber and then Laura Clark. So let's give them a round of applause for making this possible. Well, I want to tell you a story. My wife and I recently took a trip to the Pacific Northwest and visited a national park. Well, there was this suspension bridge about 230 feet above a river in this huge valley. Uh, and this bridge connects between two worlds, the city and the national park. So our visit there made me think about a time that a teacher impacted my life back in school, back in high school actually. This teacher gave us students insight into another world and greater appreciation for their cultures. You know, as I look back at the connection the teacher made in my life, it makes me realize that everyone in the school system is a bridge builder. You're making the connection in a student's life between two worlds, the known and the unknown. And so you give a profound insight and perspective every day to everyone that you come across. And so you made an impact on many students' lives and that's something to, to feel proud about for yourself. And so you never know what actual impact you may make along the way, just like myself along the way. So you're sculpting the minds of the future generations you know, to be the next teacher, the next speech therapist, the next principal, psychologist, architect, police officer, you name it, they could be, or they could even be the next banker or even the president. That being said, this is the evening of excellence, and you're all here tonight because you excel at what you do every day. So I'll leave you with this challenge. I challenge you to continue building bridges to make those connections in every student because You'll never know exactly where the impact you have on that student will lead them, but at least you know you made the connection, and that's what matters most. On behalf of Wells Fargo, we thank you for allowing us to host this event and appreciate each and every one of you, and congratulations to all the nominees, the finalists, and the winners tonight. Thank you very much. It's an honor to be here. Good evening, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you here with us for our annual Evening of Excellence Ceremony presented by Wells Fargo. Mr. Hagen's introduced three speakers at once, if you notice that, so I see that's my cue to hurry up and make my comments brief so that we can get to dinner. <laughs> Tonight, we're recognizing and honoring the most outstanding employees in Gaston County Schools. This is an occasion about you our education professionals who exemplify excellence. The Board of Education is proud of what you do on a daily basis for our schools, and you go the extra mile to make a difference, and we extend our gratitude to each of you for your commitment to public education. I'd like to take a moment and introduce the Board of Education members who are with us this evening. If you'll stand when I call your name. Uh, Mr. Jeff Ramsey, our Vice Chair. Dot Cherry. Dr. Guthrie, Catherine Roberts, and Terry Ushery.
Thank you, board members, for being with us this evening. We would like to express our sincere appreciation to Wells Fargo Bank for sponsoring this important ceremony again this year. Wells Fargo is a key business partner for Gaston County Schools, and it's good to know that we can count on Wells Fargo to help us make this evening special for our employees. To each of the honorees, the board joins me in saying congratulations. We believe that you are the best of the best in Gaston County Schools, and we are so proud of your professional achievements. Once again, thank you for being here this evening, and we hope you enjoy the program. Thank you, Mr. Collier. I would like for you all to take a moment and recognize our board again and thank them for all the work that they do in supporting us every day. Well, for those of you old enough, you look marvelous. <laughs> it is so great to be here. And I want to welcome you to what we consider to be the premier night of our year. Now, the premier morning of our year is when we graduate, right? And all this leads to that contribution. But tonight, it is a great honor to be in front of you and to recognize that our board passed a resolution to recognize Education Week. Does everybody realize there's a debate this year about when Education Week is? Many of you are having teacher appreciation this week, and some will celebrate next week. So Mr. Hagan's researched that and found it's because the first full week starts with Sunday coming. So we're going to celebrate it on the 8th of next week. But for those of you who are having it this week, it's great because we believe we should be celebrating our teachers every day. And that's what tonight is about, celebration. Because we believe in what we do is being critical to what this community needs every day. Why? Who can tell me what's important about what you do every day? Do you think this table of bankers would be here today if you hadn't done what you do every day? Do you think the various members, I know Ms. Roberts' husband works for Duke Energy, Bobby Guthrie is a retired educator, all of the people that are in this room today wouldn't be where they were today without you and with what the contributions you make to our community. So before we recognize any one person, I'd like for all of you to recognize each other for what you do. And I want to recognize the spouses and significant others with us because you enable these people to do great things for kids every day. So give yourselves a round of applause. Now I'm going to tell you folks, that's disappointing. <laughs> because if the Panthers had just scored a touchdown, you'd all be standing up, hooping, and giving each other high fives. Come on, recognize yourselves. Let's go. Thank you. Another name from the past is Christopher Reeve. And when you say that name, you remember Superman. He once said, a hero is an ordinary individual who finds the strength to persevere and endure in spite of overwhelming obstacles. That's what this room represents. People who every day don't see the obstacle. They see the opportunity to change a child's life. So you represent the supermen and the superwomen of Gaston County Schools. Thank you for what you do every day. Mr. Ballard, we do appreciate what Wells Fargo does. We do miss the stagecoach, though. That was always good to have behind us because I thought it could escape if it got too tight. So tonight is your night. Tonight you are being treated the way you should be treated every day to an evening of excellence. I look forward to celebrating with you. Thank you for being with us tonight. To share special remarks with us this evening, it is a pleasure to introduce our Gaston County Teacher of the Year for 2016-2017, Beth Crosby from McCadville Elementary School.
A year and a half ago, I sat down for an interview in front of a panel at the end of a busy day in my classroom. I went in, answered a few questions, and then hurried back to my school to go to a robotics practice. During that interview, I talked about my school, the data notebooks I used, and more mostly about how we were getting ready to decorate our school for the holidays. But I remember my final question in that interview very well. They asked me what I would say to a prospective teacher to encourage them to enter education. My answer was simple, and I stand behind it today. I said simply, kids are worth it. A year ago tonight, I experienced one of the most amazing evenings of my life. I stood here shaking and barely able to stammer thank you when I was chosen for this incredible honor. I entered into the Teacher of the Year experience with extreme humility at being named as a finalist. And when my name was called, I was and, and still remain stunned. I do the job I love day in and day out simply because kids are worth it, not for any honor or glory. During this course of this year, I have been able to visit classrooms throughout our county where I see teachers who are touching the lives of children for the same reason. They know that the kids they teach are simply worth it. A year ago tonight, I did not realize how much this experience would grow me personally and professionally. I've been able to spend lots of time writing, thinking, and explaining why I believe what I do and why I do what I do. Having the opportunity to speak at churches and civic groups and also other organizations has truly made me a better leader, learner, and thinker. I'm so very grateful to all the county office staff members who have helped me grow in this way. A year ago tonight, I listened intently as Bobby Kavnar spoke about his core belief of the importance of a free public education for all students. I stand here tonight and I can honestly say that Gaston County Schools is one of the best representations of public education in the state of North Carolina, perhaps even in the country. In our schools, we have students who share songs and sign language on the steps of our state capitol grounds, students who work as mentors to peers who learn differently from themselves, teachers who make themselves available to parents and students beyond office hours, teacher assistants who spend hours working one-on-one -on -one with young children learning how to read, administrators who tie balloons on children's chairs and give them noisemakers to celebrate all day when their teacher is named Teacher of the Year. <laughs> A year ago tonight, I thanked my husband Tommy and my two sons. Over the past year, they have smiled and understood as Mama ran running in late to band concerts, got them two or three or even four fast food meals in a week at night, and gotten home to kiss them hours after they've gone home after they've already been in bed. They have traveled this road with me with grace and unending support, and I am eternally grateful to them. I must also thank everyone from California to all of the parts of the Carolinas who have supported me over the past year. A year ago tonight, I forgot to thank Wells Fargo, our wonderful corporate sponsor. But rest assured, I won't make that mistake tonight. <laughs> With their generous grant, I was able to purchase materials for my classroom for Reader's Workshop, but mostly um, use it towards my graduate school studies as I work towards my master's in school administration. Thank you so much, Wells Fargo, for supporting me and also for your major support of Gaston County Schools. A year ago tonight, I was changed. I was given a wonderful gift, the gift to share my passion for kids and to get to know others who share that passion. I'm grateful to God for this opportunity and wish nothing but the best for those honored here tonight. This experience has been a highlight of my life and one that I will carry with me forever. Thank you very much. At this time, we would like to recognize our special guests and honorees and the selection committee members responsible for choosing tonight's award winners. When I call your name, if you'll please stand. We have special recognition for the 2016 New Teacher of the Year, Bernadette D'Amato from Carr Elementary School. And our Teacher Assistant of the Year for 2016, Jane Bumgarner from Springfield Elementary, could not be with us this evening. You may, just met Beth Crosby, our 2016-17 Gaston County Teacher of the Year. We also have with us Beth Suber, Gaston County Teacher of the Year for, 20, for 2008, and the Southwest Regional Finalist, Beth Suber. <laughs> Former Gaston County Principals of the Year that are with us this evening, Cindy Hester, 2006, Audrey Devine, 2009, James Montgomery, 2011, Corbin Ross, 2012, 
Terry Ussery, 2013, Rebecca Duncan, 2014, Joey Clinton, 2015, and Rebecca Huffstetler, 2016, if that group will stand. The Teacher of the Year Selection Committee, Beth Crosby, Diane Gibson, Rebecca Huffstetler, and Torben Rawls. Will you all please stand? The Principal of the Year Selection Committee, Joey Clinton, Glenn Cook, Beth Crosby, Todd Hagens, Rebecca Huffstetler, and Lisa Montgomery. You all will stand. Don't be shy. Assistant Principal of the Year Selection Committee, Glenn Cook, Beth Crosby, Rebecca Huffstetler, and Lisa Montgomery. And I think it's the same for the Central Office Administrator of the Year. So you all stand collectively one more time, Glenn Cook, Beth Crosby, Rebecca Huffstetler, and Lisa Montgomery. Now we have the recognition of our area employees of the year. And when I call them forward, I believe they are going to receive um, an award and Mr. Booker and Mr. Collier if you will please assist with that presentation. First we are pleased to welcome the 2016-2017 Gaston County Schools Counselor of the Year Yeva Hall Williamson from East Gaston High School. Next is the Gaston County Schools Library Media Coordinator of the Year for 2016-2017. She is Laura Long from the Holland School of Technology. Gaston County Schools Social Worker of the Year for 2016-17 is Heather Baker from H.H. Beam Elementary. <laughs> Stephanie Allman is our School Psychologist of the Year. She could not be with us this evening. And we have the Gaston County Schools Nurse of the Year serving students at Page Primary and South Point High School. She is Melissa Owens. Congratulations to all of our area employees of the year. Mr. Booker, Mr. Collier, I think that we'll let you have a seat and we'll move to the assistant principals. Unless you would like to stand. <laughs> it is a pleasure to introduce Glenn Cook. He is our winner last year of the Assistant Principal of the Year Award. This year he is serving our school district as principal of Pleasant Ridge Elementary School. He will introduce the finalist for assistant principal of the year and present this award, Glenn Cook. Good evening and thank you, Mr. Higgins. As we introduce the assistant principal nominees, please stand on the X next to my left here <laughs> until your introduction is completed and then please have a seat. And for our first nominee, Mr. Mitch Allen, Assistant Principal at South Point High School. <laughs> Mr. Allen is a lifelong learner. While some past education beliefs are still valid, he believes we must constantly be shifting and innovating ideas to be effective. Mr. Allen looks closely at data to, talk, to tackle the school improvement goals of South Point High School. He says for growth to occur, collaboration on all levels is imperative and each stakeholder must have buy-in. Mr. Allen leads by example by demonstrating his beliefs are moral, ethical, 
and student focused. He hopes every student is in a better place when he gets on the bus to go home in the afternoon than when he saw him arrive at school that morning. Congratulations, Mitch Allen, Assistant Principal at South Point High School. Next, we have Mr. Todd Goff, Assistant Principal at Belmont Central Elementary School. Mr. Goff believes leaders should be reflective and must look at the big picture. He says leadership begins the moment you begin interacting with, interacting with the stakeholders. Mr. Goff wants to make sure a positive conversation is held with each teacher daily. If a teacher is struggling, they create a plan of improvement together so the teacher can spread her wings and grow. Mr. Goff encourages relationship building within Belmont Central. He meets with his young men's club to encourage these students to be successful. Congratulations, Todd Goff, Assistant Principal of Belmont Central Elementary School. Next, we have Ms. Donna Kelly, Assistant Principal at Ida Rankin Elementary School. Ida Rankin begins every morning with rise expectations. Ms. Kelly encourages the students and teachers to rise to the top. She says we teach the importance of respecting ourselves and respecting others. She coaches the teachers to meet every student where they are to help grow them from that point while inspiring success and a lifetime of learning. Ms. Kelly empowers the teachers to make the best decisions for their students. Her plan is to give the teachers the ability to learn and to make the decisions together in order to build the capacity of the school. Congratulations, Ms. Donna Kelly, Assistant Principal of Ida Lincoln Elementary School. Next, Ms. Allison Ron, Assistant Principal at Costner Elementary School. Ms. Ron is a believer of servant leadership. She believes an outstanding leader works alongside others to get involved in each aspect of the school day. By adopting this philosophy, Ms. Ron hopes to guide the staff of Costner Elementary by working beside them as they build expectations together. Her goal is to show students everything they do now has a purpose and there is life beyond graduation. Ms. Ron emphasizes learning is necessary to have a good job and to be better citizens. Thank you. Congratulations, Ms. Allison Ryan, Assistant Principal at Costner Elementary School. And next, Mr. Matt Reichert, Assistant Principal at Brookside Elementary School. This is Mr. Reichert's first year as an administrator in an elementary school, and he enjoys every minute of it. He believes parents need to know they made the best choice where their child receives an education by providing customer service. Customer service should be evident from the first interaction with the school's receptionist and continue with positive experiences each day with teachers, support staff, and administration. Mr. Reichard wants learning to be fun by meeting the students where they are, focusing on growth, and celebrating accomplishments. Congratulations, Mr. Matt Reichard, Assistant Principal at Brookside Elementary School. And now, the 2016-17 Gaston County Schools Assistant Principal is Miss Donna Kelly, out of Rankin Elementary School. Um, I never win anything and that's what I told Miss Kaiser and she has said multiple times today you need to write something down and I'm like no I'm not I never win anything but I did write a couple of things down so thankfully um, wow it's a great night to be an assistant principal I'm so happy this is great uh, I'm deeply humbled 
and I would like to thank first of all our school board uh, members who are here and made all of this possible also superintendent Booker for giving me this opportunity and um, then members of the interview committee um, they, they were easy to interview with so it, it wasn't very nerve-wracking to sit there with all of them lots of smiles and nods so that was great um, also I flew in that morning from New York so I felt very under prepared as I rushed in off my flight and went to my interview but thank you to all of you um, I, I want to congratulate the, the other assistant principal of the year finalists. It was a great group of people uh, to be nominated with. So thank you to all of you. And I guess first of all, my principal, I would like to thank you and recognize uh, Ms. Kristen Kaiser. I could not have landed in a better place or with a better person when I was put with her six years ago. And I have learned a lot um, from her and I hope to be the leader she is one day if and when I ever get a school of my own. So thank you to Ms. Kaiser. I um, also want to thank um, my ranking family. Uh, it really is the greatest school on the planet. And sorry if that's not your school, but <laughs> it really is the greatest place. We tell our teachers that all the time, and I truly do believe it. So um, my job's easier every day because of the people that I work with. And then, of course, uh, all of my colleagues, uh, assistant principals that I go to meetings with, and, and we sit through testing training and all the other stuff that we have to do, thank you very much. And then I cannot say enough about the people who I am most blessed to have, and that's my husband, Todd, and my two children who are at Belmont Central, and they're very happy to be there. So that's a great place, too. Um, okay, I think I've rambled enough. Uh, thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> The next award is Central Office Administrator of the Year, and to present our five finalists and this award, we'd like to introduce Lisa Montgomery from our Technology Services Department. Good evening. And following in the very capable footsteps of Mr. Cook, just like you saw when I call these finalists, if you would come and sit on the X, and then you can be seated. The first finalist is Scott Castle. Scott is the Power School Data Warehouse Specialist in the Accountability Department. Scott is a product of Gaston County Schools, Hunter Huss High School, and is a proud Caramount. He envisioned spending his entire career here, as did his parents. <laughs> Scott says his supervisor would describe him as dependable, energetic, and accountable. <laughs> his goal in his department is to avoid a state audit, as we know. <laughs> As we know, that data equals dollars. At the end of his career, he hopes that people remember the excellent job that he did while at Gaston County Schools. Congratulations, Scott Castle, accountability department. Next, we have Bessie Harvey. Betsy is the Facility Service Process Coordinator in the Facilities Department. She says her supervisor would describe her as reliable, honest, and detail-oriented. She remembers her 10th grade English teacher as someone who supported and encouraged her in her life goals. When her career draws to a close, Bessie wants to be remembered as a person of integrity who did what she said she was going to do. She wants to be remembered as a person who cared about her school district. Congratulations, Bessie Harvey. The students. Our next finalist is Patricia Pruitt.
Patricia is the IT Operations Manager in the Technology Support Services Department. Patricia was able to attend a conference that allowed her to see a global perspective on technology in the classroom, which she says was an eye-opening experience. She says her supervisor would describe her as organized, data-driven, and honest. A point of pride for Patricia has been being involved in the setup of new schools. She hopes her department can be remembered for making good decisions, which provided a lasting effect for teachers and for students. Congratulations, Patricia Pruitt. Our next candidate is Celeste Sadler. Celeste is a curriculum facilitator in the Instructional Services Department. She says, as a public school employee, we need to fight for our schools and make our parents aware of our achievements. Celeste was able to attend the National Middle School Conference in which she learned that we need to shake things up and see them from a different point of view. She can be described as enthusiastic, dedicated, and passionate. She wants to be remembered as someone who put the needs of her students first. Celeste says that the decisions she has made were not always easy, but they were the best decisions for the GCS students. Congratulations, Celeste Sadler. Instructional Services Department. Our final finalist, Valerie Yakko. Valerie is the Director of Business Partnerships in the Communications Department. Valerie's biggest focus is growing the mentor program for GCS. She was challenged to secure 300 mentors and is happy to report that that goal has been achieved. She says a book that she read by John Wooden, A Game Plan for Life, has been a great inspiration for her in empowering her mentors empowering mentors to benefit the students of Gaston County Schools. Valerie says a point of pride for her is the Kia Outstanding Educator Program, which is in its fourth year. She wants to be remembered as a person who helped get mentors for our children. Valerie Yadko, Communications Department. As soon as we announce the winner, you will also get the crown <laughs> that is being passed down with much pride tonight. This was started by Mr. Park some years ago, and you will have to find a nice place to keep it for next year's winner. <laughs> All right, the winner. Central Office Administrator of the Year, Valerie Yadko, Communications Department. I stand before you uh, humbled, uh, but very, very proud, very proud to be a part of Gaston County Schools. Uh, when I embarked on this journey years ago, I never imagined that each day would be such a joy. Uh, how lucky I am to come to work each day and to work in business partnerships. It's all about building relationships. That's, that's uh, a key part of what we do. And to be, you know, part of the bigger picture of Gaston County Schools, where building those relationships extends not just to our business and community partners, but to our schools, and to touch so many different people uh, it, it is just so exciting, so rewarding. And uh, as I said, I stand here so proud to be a member uh, and a small part of Gaston County Schools. Uh, thank you to all of those whose hard work produced this wonderful evening, to our sponsors and to everyone on the committee. Um, 
I, I want to go back and thank uh, the folks that, that brought me into the fold, to, to Brenda Rashford, who, who first hired me, to uh, my other supervisors who mentored me, Dixie Abernathy, Melissa Baltonight, to my colleagues in the, in the communications department, uh, to uh, Todd Hagens, who continues to uh, be a mentor to me, uh, Todd, who is always uh, ready to offer me, as he calls them, opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and there is actually a quote, I'll borrow it from uh, Ray Hardy, it was in the paper this past weekend, where preparedness meets opportunity is where things happen. Uh, if you know Todd Hagens, he's very, very prepared. The goal of the communications department is to make our district look good, and I think those folks do a great job. And to the gentlemen behind the camera lenses, uh, to, uh, Tom Nancetti and Sean Cochran, as well as Charlotte Wright that makes up our department, uh, I, I accept this award on behalf of, of all of you because you shine a light on, on the good work that happens in this school district. Uh, of course, I want to thank my family, my husband, my three wonderful children and their spouses, my grandkids. They're all always so willing to listen to my school stories and I appreciate that. <laughs> Uh, my youngest daughter, who's also a teacher and educator, she helps keep my blade sharp uh, and keeps me connected to the classroom. So thank you all, um, and I will get up tomorrow morning with renewed energy and continue to do the good work. Thank you. We are ready to present our finalist for Gaston County Principal of the Year. 2017 2018 during our evening of excellence ceremony presented by Gaston County Schools and Wells Fargo Bank. To present the nominees and this award for Principal of the Year, we have Rebecca Huffstetler, and presenting the award on behalf of Wells Fargo will be Sally Dixon. Please welcome our Principal of the Year from last year, Rebecca Huffstetler. It is my honor to recognize five individuals who are great educators as well as outstanding people as the finalists for Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. We will begin with Chad Parker, Principal of Forest View High School. Mr. Carper understands that building teacher morale should be ongoing and continuous. Therefore, students at Forest View nominate teachers each month to be recognized for a job well done. Mr. Carper praises the work of his assistant principals and mentor teachers who help him provide extra support to beginning teachers. Together, they work to help the beginning teachers get the resources and extra time they need to be prepared daily. As a principal, Mr. Carper feels his most important job every day is to remove any obstacle which could prevent a student from learning or being successful. His main priority is the work he does for students. Congratulations, Chad Carper, principal at Forest View High School. Amy Holbrook, principal, Yorkchester Middle School. Dr. Holbrook knows the most important thing she does to start each day is to visit every single classroom in her school. She believes these daily visits let the teachers and students know that she supports them and believes in them. Dr. Holbrook works hard to make sure her teachers feel appreciated, so she has monthly celebrations which are sponsored by the business partnership she has created at Yorkchester. She has made it her goal to build the digital competencies of the teachers, students, and parents of her school, and has done so by setting a high standard for herself as the leader. When it comes to classroom use of technology, Dr. Holbrook wants technology to be as routine as picking up pencils and paper. Congratulations, Dr. Amy Holbrook, 
Principal, Yorkchester Middle School. <laughs> Crystal Hauser, Principal, W.C. Friday. Ms. Hauser is constantly looking for positive things happening at her school, and she is always proud to share the good news of what is happening at W.C. Friday Middle School. Ms. Hauser strives to build a collaborative environment among her faculty and staff. She utilizes Google Classroom to post resources based on the individual needs of her teachers and inspirational readings which she believes are useful to her beginning teachers. Ms. Hauser also embraces professional development opportunities. She recently enjoyed attending the National Middle School Conference where she was able to network with other professionals and bring back ideas which she has implemented in her school. Congratulations, Crystal Hauser, Principal, W.C. Friday Middle School. <laughs> Denise McLean, Principal, Highland School of Technology. Ms. McLean loves being a principal. She is eager to work with her students. She is dedicated to her staff and enjoys interacting with the community. It is important to her that she be visible and present every morning to greet the teachers and students as they arrive at Highland. To maintain high academic standards at her school, she provides strong professional development and effective resources for her teachers. Making sure all of her teachers feel supported is important to Ms. McLean. One of the ways she supports her teachers is by providing them with a listening ear. One of her goals as a principal is to make sure all of her teachers feel like rock stars. Congratulations, Denise McLean, Principal, Highland School of Technology. Phyllis Whitworth, Principal, Belmont Central Elementary School. <laughs> Ms. Whitworth is a graduate of Gaston County Schools and has worked for Gaston County Schools for over 30 years. Ms. Whitworth is, a vigilant, is vigilant in maintaining safety at her school. She feels continuous training for staff and maintaining relationships with our security officers is key to meeting this goal. Ms. Whitworth stays abreast of the critical topics in education while focusing most on those that are aligned with the beliefs of our school system. She is currently working with the PLCs in her school to ensure personalized learning is in place for every single student at Belmont Central. When visiting classrooms each day, she is always on the lookout for engaged and smiling students. Congratulations, Phyllis Whitworth, Principal, Belmont Central Elementary School. Good evening. This year's Wells Fargo Principal of the Year is truly dedicated to the education of all children. This principal is willing to do whatever it takes to ensure that all students feel loved and respected, while also holding them with the highest of expectations. This principal of the year is a consummate professional who understands the importance of servant leadership and strives to be a role model for all to follow. This principal works diligently to better the school community by involving parents and seeking ways to make relevant changes that positively impacts student learning. This principle empowers teachers to be lifelong learners who constantly seek to improve their craft and the lives of students on a daily basis. This principle of the year expects nothing less than the best when it comes to self, students, faculty, and staff. Wells Fargo is proud to present the 2017-2018 Principal of the Year Award to a person who is admired by community leaders, 
colleagues, and administrators. Congratulations, Phyllis Whitworth, Jackson <laughs> County Principal of the Year. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know who she was talking about. <laughs> Thank you to the selection committee, Mr. Booker, school board members, Wells Fargo, Gaston County Schools Human Resources Department. Thank you for the collaborative effort that you have put in to make this evening truly an evening of excellence. I am extremely grateful to be named Gaston County Schools Principal of the Year. I am humbled to be recognized amongst my colleagues. I could not have done any of this or accomplished anything that I have without you. Thank you for the respect and confidence you have given me. Now, most people that know me know that I love to talk. <laughs> so I'm going to be true to the time as best that I can. I've been blessed to spend my entire career in Gaston County Schools and to encounter a lot of wonderful people and build relationships. So I simply say thank you for the part you have played in my life and career. To people like Mr. Johnny Biles, who thought I could become an administrator. To Mr. Robert Carpenter, who trained me to be an administrator. And to the assistant principals that I was blessed to work with at Forest View High School. Lucretia Rice, Joey Clinton, Jill Payne, and Christy Gonto. I was privileged to learn from them, to grow with them, and to build lasting bonds. I think about when I first got to Forest View and I met Joey Clinton. He said, if there's anything you need, you let me know. My sister said, call him down here and tell him to hang those pictures for you. <laughs> I called him and he did just that. <laughs> because that's what we do in Gaston County Schools. We help each other. To my parents, family, and neighbors who taught me the meaning of the golden rule and helped me live my dream, I will be eternally grateful to my parents who valued education and helped me along my way. To my husband, who for 30 plus years have encouraged me, cheered me on, and supported me with what he calls that teacher stuff. <laughs> so in closing, special thanks to the students, parents, and staff of Belmont Central and of Catawba Heights Elementary who accepted me as principal. And they have allowed me and continue to be a part of the dreams, the hopes, the aspirations, and the destinies of our children. I am the blessed one. Thank you. We are ready to present our Teachers of the Year for the 54 schools in Gaston County Schools. From Ashbrook High School, Ashley Reimer. From Beam Elementary School, Rosalise Rondinelli. From Beam Intermediate, Emily Mosteller. From Belmont Central Elementary, Terry Beltakis. 
from Belmont Middle, Brad Beaver. From Bass Elementary, Donna Griffith. From Bessemer City Central, Penny Cable. From Bessemer City High School, Rebecca Ray. From Bessemer City Middle School, Amber Robertson. From Bessemer City Primary, Stacy Messer. From Brookside Elementary, the Teacher of the Year is Elisa Nanny. She is not with us this evening, and accepting for her is her principal, Logan McGuire. From Carr Elementary, Jenny Smith. From Catawba Heights Elementary, Jennifer Sisk. The Teacher of the Year for Chapel Grove Elementary is Allison Park, and accepting for her is her principal, Jenny Johnson. The Teacher of the Year for John Chavis Middle School is Catherine Pace, and accepting for her is principal, Ryan Smith. From Cherville Elementary School, Anna Parker. From Cherville High School, Lance Holt. From Costner Elementary School, Sheila McLean. From Stuart W. Kramer High School, Mindy Mamano. From Cramerton Middle School, Carrie Lowe. From East Gaston High School, Brian Johnson. From Forest View High School, Sabine Schmid Rankin. From W.C. Friday Middle School, Heather Searcy. From Gardner Park Elementary School, Angela Salgado. The Teacher of the Year for the Gaston Early College High School is Charles Gardner, and accepting for him is Principal Sheila Wyant. From Greer Middle School, Gary Koch. From Hawks Nest Steam Academy, Sierra Jennings. From the Highland School of Technology, Dan Froelich. From Holbrook Middle School, Amy Daniel. From Hunter Huss High School, Jackie Robinson. From Kaiser Elementary School, Lisa White. From Lingerfelt Elementary, Victoria Holman. From Lowell Elementary, Allison Miller. The Teacher of the Year for McCannville Elementary is Bonita Truesdale, and accepting for her is Principal Linda Neely. The Teacher of the Year for Mount Holly Middle School is Katie Arrington, and accepting for her is Principal Jamie Peoples. From New Hope Elementary, Shannon Kohler. From North Belmont Elementary, Sonia Helton. From North Gaston High School, John Sullivan. From Page Primary, the Teacher of the Year is Kristen Riggs, and accepting for her is Principal Lynn Whiteside. From Pinewood Elementary, Dana Reese. From Pleasant Ridge Elementary, Katherine Thomas. From Rankin Elementary, the Teacher of the Year is Jenna Markwith, and accepting for her is Principal Kristen Kaiser. From Robinson Elementary, Julie Childers. From Sadler Elementary, Valerie Schoen. 
The Teacher of the Year for Sherwood Elementary is Bethany Falls, and accepting for her is Principal Tyler West. From South Point High School, David Grimes. From Southwest Middle School, Sarah White. From Springfield Elementary, Neely Osborne. From Stanley Middle School, Lauren Skidmore. From Tryon Elementary School, Laura Bone. The Teacher of the Year from Warlick Academy is Ashley Armstrong, and accepting for her is Principal Kurt Hovis. The Teacher of the Year for Webb Street School is Curtis Nelson, and accepting for Webb Street School Deborah Donahue. I knew it wasn't Principal Kelly Howe, so that's why I had to make sure I had the right name. From Woodhill Elementary, Harmony Tomlin. And from Yorkchester Middle School, Erica Littlejohn. Congratulations, look at them over there. Congratulations to our 54 Teachers of the Year for Gaston County Schools 2016 2017. And we are ready now to present our five finalists for Gaston County Teacher of the Year. And to present our finalist, we have our current Teacher of the Year from McAdenville Elementary School, Beth Crosby, and to present the award from Wells Fargo Bank, Russell Anderson. Thank you again. If Amy Daniel from Holbrook Middle School would please come to the front. Daniel, I am the choral director at Holbrook Middle School. You do this job because you're passionate about what you teach, and you're passionate about sharing it with others, and you're passionate about seeing students grab hold of that and then take it on and let it create its own life within them and pass it on to the next generation. In Mrs. Daniels' 7th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade course classes, you must be prepared to do math, sign language, clap, and of course sing lots of music. Students in her class quickly learn hand signs for notes in the musical scale and use those signs daily in warm-up activities. Nonsense words and songs are redesigned by her classes into fun lyrics about the school faculty. Beats and a measure of music are clapped and counted out carefully, and students showcase their performances in local and regional events each year during the school year. Colleagues say that Mrs. Daniel is always smiling and someone that everyone gravitates towards. They say that she is insistent upon student excellence and that she is highly respected by students in return. She is described as hilarious, organized, and cheerful. Mrs. Daniel's passion for her students is evident in her every action. She organizes the annual Holbrook Talent Show and stays well beyond school hours to make sure that everything is ready for it each year. By serving as a mentor to first year teachers, she goes above and beyond to make sure the new teacher has all of their questions answered and feels welcomed at Holbrook. Mrs. Daniel serves as a wonderful role model for all other staff members by, following, by demonstrating a true passion for teaching and nurturing beginning teachers. Mrs. Daniel's students say that she is in the top 1% of all teachers in the world. That when she, she, they say when other teachers seem to give up, Mrs. Daniels keeps on going. She tells us when we make mistakes and helps us see what we need to do to make things right. When asked about their favorite activities in class, their first song sight reading and learning the soul fledges hand signals are their favorite activities because they are two activities that they continue to do throughout the year. Awesome, creative, and energetic are just a few words her students use to describe her. And another says that if I wanted to become a music teacher, she is the one I would want to be like. 
congratulations to Mrs. Amy Daniels, course teacher at Holbrook Middle School. If I could please have Victoria Holman from Lingerfield Elementary School. My name is Vicki Holman. I teach first grade at Linkerfelt Elementary School. How did you know that so quickly? And I am a teacher because I believe education gives children choices and power in their own lives. Let's see what happens next. There's nothing better than watching a little one learn and grow in these big, huge ways because they come from here and they end up here and that all happens within that 180 days that we have them in our classroom. So there's really nowhere else I would like to be. As you walk into Mrs. Holman's first grade classroom, the first thing to strike you is organization. You may see a student underneath a table or laying on the floor or in another special place for independent reading and a personal baggie of books to read. Students in a guided reading group learn to use context clues carefully to determine the meaning of unfamiliar words while encouraging each other when they read fluently. Mrs. Holman's colleagues say that she embodies what exactly a teacher should be. She does what is needed for all kids and is a great role model for all teachers. They describe her as professional, caring, dependable, and honest. Whether she is mentoring a beginning, leading, a beginning teacher or helping student behavior plans become developed or leading parent-teacher sessions about in-class reading, she is constantly ready to step up and do what is needed to get the job done. Mrs. Holman consistently shows that she cares deeply for the entire school community. When asked about their teachers, Mrs. Holman's students describe her as nice, smart, a great leader, someone who makes us laugh, and that her favorite color is purple. She is a great teacher because she is nice to us, lets us talk to our partners, lets us choose our own books, teaches us to count by twos, and teaches me to be a better reader. Students say that picking centers and long reading time on Fridays are their favorite parts of class. Mrs. Holman makes sure that nothing ever gets lost in class, and if it is, she'll find it. She is different from other teachers because she teaches us that following the rules is the right thing to do. Congratulations, Vicki Holman from Lingerfeld Elementary School. If Mindy Mamano from Stuart Kramer High School would please come. My name is Mindy Mamano. I teach at Stuart Kramer High School. He calls it something. Associated I teach because teaching gives me hope. In that so teaching allows me to interact with students that see the world through a different lens. Everybody that is in this is in this together for the sake of the student, playing our part in helping the generation to better the world. And I'd just like to be a part of that. When you enter Mindy Mamano's AP US History class, you never know who may be sitting down for dinner. You may meet Al Capone, Margaret Sanger, or Louis Armstrong at the dinner table discussing current events of the 1920s. Or you may see students analyzing a photograph of the Harlem Renaissance to, di to discover its historical significance. In Mrs. Mamano's classroom, primary documents are used as a part of interactive, hands-on approach to learning about the history of the United States. Colleagues describe Mrs. Mamano as a creative hard worker who models professionalism in all that she does. She encourages colleagues by having a positive attitude and going above and beyond to meet the needs of her students. She demonstrates strong classroom management and teaches from bell to bell in her classroom. They say there is never a time when she isn't doing what needs to be done and completes tasks such as hall duty with a smile. She is an unofficial mentor to all teachers on her hall and is the go-to person for anyone who has questions. Mrs. Mamano says that her, Mrs. Mamano students rather, say that her passion for history and life in general is evident in all that she does. Her positive attitude and strong organization fully prepare students for the AP US history test and helps them prepare for college level work. They say that she is caring, consistent, hardworking, dedicated, and unique. Recreating events from World War I and designing dinner parties as they study the 1920s and Great Depression are among their favorite activities in class during the semester. She has made one student realize that she wants to become a teacher and has become a second mom to other students. Her care for each student is evident in all that she does. Congratulations, Minnie Mamano, teacher at Stuart Kramer High School.
if Ashley Remmer from Ashbrook High School would please come up. My name is Ashley Rimmer and I'm a 10th grade English teacher at Ashbrook High School and I love teaching because I want to make a difference and help impact the world. My favorite part of being a teacher is the, that click of understanding or like figuring out like a puzzle piece. That is my favorite part of teaching and that's what I try to make happen every day. Okay, good. So, I can't imagine ever being anything different. I'm a teacher. That's what I am. When you arrive in Ashley Remmer's English class, it's best to have completed your reading in, for class in order to go to the top of the leaderboard. Using Quizlet Live, small groups, of, small groups of students in her class compete as they review character names from the novel Things Fall Apart. Students engage in discussions about events in the book and how those events are relevant to the world around them today. Colleagues say that Mrs. Remmer is a hardworking, motivated, compassionate problem solver. By serving the grade level professional learning community as facilitator and as secretary of the school improvement team, she's an incredible representation of what a student should be. Between planning extensively with coworkers and adapting curriculum to meet the needs of all students, she inspires her colleagues to do the same. They say that, they say that even though she has not been a teacher for a long period of time, she leads her school in ways that teachers with 20 or 30 years of experience would lead. Students say that Mrs. Rimmer is different from other teachers because she makes you understand topics instead of just telling you the answer. Students do not feel embarrassed in class, but feel empowered to ask questions at any time. Mrs. Rimmer supports students by being available in the evenings through email. Students enjoy playing Quizlet Live in class because it gets you talking to people that you normally would not talk to and because it's competitive. Through Mrs. Rimmer's instruction, students say that they are challenged to read more, write more, and to reflect. They feel a connection to her through the stories that she tells, admire her courage to admit when she doesn't know the answer to a question. She is confident, friendly, and intelligent. Congratulations, Ashley Rimmer, Ashley Custer. And if Mrs. Heather Searcy from WC Friday Middle School would please come up. My name is Heather Searcy and I teach an exceptional children classroom at WC Friday. I love my job. I love the students. I love their personalities. I love to see the light bulb moments when they smile and they say, I got it, and they feel like a rock star. And I want them to feel like they can do anything, they can be anything. The sky's the limit. Learning through sign language, exploration, and hands-on science labs are daily occurrences in Mrs. Searcy's classes. You may hear the song Rise Up or Katy Perry's song Fight Song coming from the classroom as students practice sign language for an upcoming performance, or you may see students serving each other in peer mentoring roles. By serving as the Project Unity Sponsor at WC Friday, Mrs. Searcy helps adults and students see the importance of having respect for all those around them. Over the past several years, students in her classes have performed songs in sign language at the Special Olympics and on the grounds of the North Carolina State Capitol. Mrs. Searcy's colleagues say that she goes above and beyond the call of duty at her school by serving as mentor to beginning teachers and making sure that students in need of clothes or food have their needs met. Her caring and hardworking style is evident in all that she does. From organizing work for all homebound students to working with student, other students to develop curriculum and adapted physical education classes. She is invested in the lives of students at her school and you can truly tell that she cares. Students in Mrs. Searcy's class say that she is amazing, funny, and kind. They say that she really listens to them and helps them with their work if they need help. Their favorite activities in class are working with fresh water and salt water in science, learning about volume and math, and doing art. She teaches us what she needs, what we need to know, and she is a very nice teacher. Congratulations, Hannah Searcy. Good evening, everyone. Uh, in an effort to recognize outstanding educators and to show support for public education, Wells Fargo is a, a proud sponsor of the Teacher of the Year Award in Gaston County. 
Each year we're pleased to have the opportunity to highlight the achievements of Gaston County teachers and to name one individual the Teacher of the Year. This year's Teacher of the Year creates a learning environment that is student-centered, where every student feels empowered to learn and succeed. Through differentiated instruction and problem-based learning, this teacher strives to meet the academic needs of every student on a daily basis. The Teacher of the Year prepares students to be competitive in a global economy by equipping them with the tools and skills needed to solve real-world problems now and in the future. This teacher strives to prepare students to be good stewards and productive citizens. As a team player, this teacher goes above and beyond the call of duty to serve students, their school, and the surrounding community by taking an active role as a leader, participant, and volunteer. The teacher of the year is a, long, a lifelong learner who constantly strives to obtain knowledge and gain a better understanding of the current trends in education in order to better meet the needs of students. She sets high expectations for self, students, and peers, and stresses the importance of growth and making the most of every opportunity. This year's Teacher of the Year strives as a role model for all educators, demonstrating professionalism both in and out of the classroom. So it is with great pleasure I announce the Gaston County Schools Teacher of the Year for 2017 and 2018 to Mindy Mamano. Thank you. This is truly an honor. I, um, as of five o'clock, I had not written a speech. I had received several texts from friends that said, just in case, um, and I'm glad that I did so. Um, so um, just a little story about this, the start to all of this. It was 18 years ago, pretty much this month, that my husband Jason and I, we were finishing up our college education in Ohio. Uh, we knew we wanted to teach. We knew we wanted to do so together. But we didn't know where God was going to lead us um, until we attended a random job fair at Ohio University. We, we didn't attend Ohio University. Um, <laughs> but we happened upon a booth where uh, Melissa McKinney and Nancy Wilson were sitting behind a big green sign. We had never heard of Gaston County. We'd never been to North Carolina. But um, these two sweet ladies sold us the county by using their southern accents. Um, <laughs> and the rest, as we say, is history. Three months later, as we were getting used to Gaston County, having not yet been in our classrooms, we were getting used to things like NASCAR and uh, red clay and sun drop, though we were warned that if we had even a sip, we would get kidney stones. <laughs> <laughs> and we looked at one another and thought, well, we'll give it a year. Um, we just weren't real sure. Um, but we were very wrong. There is no other, no other place that we could have built this family and this life that we have, and no other place that we could call home. I'm so thankful for Eddie McGinnis for taking a chance on me and welcoming me to my first job at Mount Holly Middle School all those years ago. Since then, I've been, a ble I've been blessed to be a part of three other fabulous schools, each providing for me top-notch administration and colleagues that I've learned from and grown with over the years. I'm standing here today because, like Mr. McGinnis, Marty Starnes, Linda Bratcher, and Audrey Devine surrounded me, gave me a chance, and surrounded me with teachers who have mentored, encouraged, and shared with me their wisdom of teaching. As I said in my video, I, I, I teach because it, it means I get to spend every single day with people that are in this for the same reason that I am. I don't have to go to the cutthroat world of corporate, of corporate America. I can be with people that show their passion and share that with one another. People over the years like Donna Kentrell, who was my mama, um, back in the late 90s, and Bridget Matsky, who welcomed me to the Shark Team in Mount Holly, and then 16 years later, welcomed me to Stuart Kramer um, as a colleague down the hall. And people like East Gaston's Melissa McDaniel, who is not only one of my dearest friends, but combines humor and knowledge and common sense to create the perfect classroom, and has taught me after all these years how to deal with the Southern good old boy that I was not growing up with. <laughs> and people like Lynn Carnes, Harper, who inspired me to bring history live into my classroom and has made my classroom into what it is today. 
and people like my husband, Jason Momano, who exudes that passion for technology. Um, although, who, when I told him that I was nervous about winning, he said, don't worry about it, you're no Bobby Kavner. <laughs> So some of you speak of supportive husbands. <laughs> um, but I also get to teach with people like Tony Stallings, who has taught me to teach from her heart, and the entire Stuart Kramer Social Studies Department and lunch crew that are just there providing laughs and, and ears. Um, and as, I've added, as an added bonus for these last six or seven months, I have gotten to spend uh, time with the other four finalists who I've learned from and who are wonderful representations of who Gaston County is. I'm so fortunate to be standing here and that God led Jason and me here all these years ago and that we get to send our children to Gaston County schools as well. And I look forward to representing you last year, next year. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations to Mindy Mamato from Stuart W. Kramer High School, the Gaston County Teacher of the Year for 2017-2018. We would like to congratulate all of tonight's honorees, and we are extremely proud of our new Teacher of the Year and Principal of the Year, and we look forward to having them represent us in the regional competition for 2017-2018, and who knows, Mindy, you may follow in the footsteps of Bobby Kavanaugh. <laughs> And now with our closing remarks, Superintendent Booker. Wow. How many times do we hear inspiring success in a lifetime of learning? It's what we represent in the school system, but what better representation than we've gotten to see tonight? One more loud round of applause for all the students. As you reflect on the night, think of some of the words that you've heard. Beth Crosby talking about energy, a belief in public education, a belief in kids. Donna Kelly, who just was overwhelmed with enthusiasm and just talked about the love she feels in her school and the pride she feels in her school, but she remembered to take care of her principal of her kids, right? <laughs> Valerie, who gets up and says, my family puts up with my school stories. We all have school stories, and stories from tonight will be stories worth telling. Phyllis gets up and says, I'm the blessed one, because I'm around people who help each other. Jason, I don't know where you're sleeping tonight, but... <laughs> But Mindy, I am glad that you decided to call this home. And I think that speaks loudly about what I think about when I think about Gaston County Schools. Because we could go through each of our schools that are represented here tonight and think of a child that has a home because it has a place at your school. We live in a community that has its challenges from time to time. But overall, this community is a great place to be. It is a great place to raise a family because it has a great school system that provides a caring and nurturing environment for its children. I thank you for being here. Wells Fargo, thank you for allowing us to have a night like this to where these folks get to pause. <laughs> but it is great that you get to pause and breathe and be celebrated. As we move into our anniversary year, we will be talking about celebrating more and more because we have a lot of things to celebrate. So please be safe getting home because we want to continue to celebrate and be proud of all that we are. Thank you and have a good night.